little pussy belongs to me. Angry Joe was someone I used to watch many years ago. I don't watch him nowadays since his videos got pretty uninteresting to me. He's a well-known critic that would call out bad media, or at least media he thinks is bad. While he does movie reviews at the moment, he's more known for his game reviews, which he makes while getting very visibly angry. Recently he got in hot water because he was called out for hypocrisy about his position about the Barbie movie. Specifically, how he decided to respond to Night's Watch and how embarrassing it is for him to get angry about a movie review. It's gonna be a whole bunch of like videos of this. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna yeah, there's happen. certain people that are gonna go fucking crazy and don't, don't be those people. I mean, I can see, uh, you know, you're not agreeing with the message, yeah. but it just makes you look embarrassing. Yeah. When he does the exact same thing, I mean, for fuck's sake, Joe's entire career is built upon him making very angry reviews about games because he knows that display of high emotions like that gets the clicks. And somehow it is embarrassing. Night's Watch accuses Joe of defending the Barbie movie just to appease the progressives and also accuse the movie of being woke. Personally, I haven't seen much evidence to suggest it's a folk movie yet but also at the same time i haven't watched the movie so i'm a bit on the neutral side on that one like i've seen cases where movies get woke so it's not out of the question but i have to be a bit skeptical considering how movies like the mario live action movie was considered woke by some people on the right because of the Rainbow Road map that just so happened to also be in the older Mario games. Getting back on the track, I would not be surprised if Joe was doing it purely to make progressives happy if this movie is woke. Considering how Joe defended Anita Sarkeesian, uh, Anita Sarkeesian, I believe that's how you pronounce the name, around the Gamergate era, as well as defending Battlefield 5 with the whole uh, woman with a robotic arm in a game that's supposed to be historically accurate you know world war one or two which is supposed to be like the bloodiest wars in human history specifically displaying a woman in the front line with a robotic arm in single player he has shown his strong dislike for uh, trump before and with all of these factors, I think it's safe to say that he leans left on the political spectrum. You can tell that he still leans left, because in response to him getting criticized about the Barbie movie, he loves to bring up how women weren't able to vote and all of that crap, completely disregarding that this was the case for everybody, excluding the rich, of course. This was not exclusively done to women, Joe. I talked a bit about Joe's history and is also known in the past for being hypocritical in other instances such as the time when he had an issue with people making jokes about people with Down syndrome. But then the same guy decided to use the word retard as an insult. Oof, not a good look for you Joe. Not a good look at all. Th this makes you look very two-faced. With the newest hypocrisy of Joe, it further damages any credibility he had left that was already damaged from his contradicting stance of the usage of the words used to describe the mentally disabled honestly i think joe is just fucking retarded himself at this rate he should just stop with his cringy virtual signaling as well as politics and just stick to the reviews stick to the reviews or Move on to a different genre for creating videos on this site. Anything is better at this point than this cancer that he's preaching for. I swear to god, if this dog shit pandering he does is gonna continue like this, he's gonna end up like Jim Sterling. That's it for the video guys, see you later. Peace. How many layers of irony are you on? Like maybe five or six right now, my dude.
you are like a baby. Watch this. Suck. Suck.